this, the studies show that there's a huge dopamine dump when someone's in pain, right? Uh, what was really cool was it was all, it was physical pain, but also emotional pain. We'll go a little bit outside of the realm of detection right now, just because I like the topic. Um, forgive me. Uh, but so I, this, the studies show that there's a huge dopamine dump when someone's in pain, right? Uh, what was really cool was it was, all, it was physical pain, but also emotional pain at times, right? We would still get that dopamine dump because it's just a neurotransmitter. It's not happy or sad or good or bad. It's a neurotransmitter. What some of the, they're doing studies on, like actively doing studies on it right now, but some of the, th the theories for these studies are um, sadomasochism, is that what it's called? Yeah. yeah. People that like to be hurt and it feels good to them. Um, the, the, yeah. <laughs> it keeps going back to that. Um, but they're, they're, they think that it, it, the theory is that it kind of hijacks the, uh, the dopamine and kind of crosses wires. So when we eat spicy food, when people partake in sadomasochism, um, it intensifies or it can intensify um, the actual pleasure that they get from it because it's a little bit of spice in their life. There's, a, there's no solid uh, evidence on it just yet. They're actively studying these things. I have a few articles on it, um, but I believe it because in dog training, I've seen um, low levels. Oh, some people have done bite work before. We'll keep even more... Um, Traditionally in IPO, are, are you guys familiar with Schutzen? Yeah? Um, they would put a prong collar on a dog when they're teaching it a bark and hold. Um, and while the dog was barking and they wanted to, to get it to show even more active aggression, they would like continually kind of pop it, not yank its head off, but like pop it a little bit on the prong collar, right? And the dog <sighs> gets even more built up and, and would blow up. Um, so I think that's a, a, one of the great examples of like, hey, he's barking and showing this because he, it's fun, like it's, he's getting to get it out of his system, but we're also adding a little bit of hot sauce, like in what they're doing with him, right? And, and popping him on the collar. Other examples of, that I've seen of it um, uh, are e-collar work. Stim, like low level stims on an e-collar, um, kind of pepping a dog up more in behavior than like crushing them, like you would traditionally think, right? Some dogs, we can stim them on an e-collar and they're like, oh yeah, here we go, Foo! and like fly into behaviors. Uh, where traditionally uh, e-collars have been used as like braking systems and like stopping a behavior. So I, I think that there's some, that I'm not a scientist. This is just from my experience and what I've seen. Um, what I, I think that there has to be some type of correlation between the dopamine dump that comes from a little bit of pain um, and all the other stuff that well, he, he just discussed. They don't pay me the big bucks to write papers, though. So. <laughs>